Hi, to a grown-ups, to adults sitting here talking to you right now. Take two. <laughs> this is our second take because I blew the first take really badly. And I'm getting really close to ruining this one too. So I could lose jazz. Chris could sweat. So we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna pay attention to what we're doing. We're gonna we focus. me by focus. Here we go. Coming up next week, Jeff Smith, a uh, Valley fella, born and raised in the Valley, uh, is a filmmaker, and he's done a film on a television phenomenon known as Arrested Development. For those of you who missed that, you can go check out the videos at Pleasant Street Video, where uh, Wednesday and Thursday are dollar days. Where's 29, Pleasant? 29 Pleasant Street, oh, okay. right here in Northampton. Um, Arrested Development really was a phenomenon, and the part of the phenomenon was that it was it won Emmys. It was it was smart, smart and funny, and you had to pay attention. There was like private in jokes from like episodes ago. It's it's a it really brilliantly crafted show, crafted by a friend of ours, mm -hmm. uh, but one in, one in part, uh, Tommy Saunders, who we talk to from time to time over there in Los Angeles. When I asked him what the hell. Uh, it's Los Angeles all about, and why the hell does he want to live there? Well, he was one of the producers and one of the writers for Arrested Development. We're going to try and get the two of them together. We're going to try and get uh, Jeff Smith to come in and talk about his film. Well, we know we got him yeah. coming to talk about his film, and we know that Tommy will talk to us about his, about the show. But Tommy may actually be able to come in the studio because he's come to the correct coast, the right coast. He's come east here for vacation, so we thought we'd oppose a little while on his vacation and say, will you come and talk to us about this thing? And he said, yeah, go figure. So that is going to be a blast, and that's going to be fun. That's Monday. Then Tuesday, it all goes to hell. The wheels come off, and Bob Flaherty comes in, and Bob Flaherty will share with us <clears throat> some of his thoughts on uh, Ray LaBarge, Council Ray LaBarge's funeral, uh, which we've commented on all, all on uh, just today, and We've been talking about the late lamented Ray LaBarge for the past week. He died while in office, and um, the, the <laughs> so I don't know if Bob will talk about that or Bob could talk about anything. Bob's big beef. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob could be upset about bird feeders or something. Lord knows, we'll find out for sure. Then we'll speak with Dr. Abby Goldberg. Uh, that's this is on Wednesday. Dr. Abby Goldberg is. Uh, has just recently published a book based on some analyses and some studies following gay families. Trying, you know, and, you know, of course... It's the first long-term uh, analysis research about uh, families with gay parents and the effects on their children. And she's published a book-length study. And, you know, it's particularly germane when you hear some of the specious arguments that are advanced opposing gay marriage, among other things, and opposing adoption and all those other things. And when, when people try to advance the cause of bigotry and their narrow-mindedness, the study should be particularly helpful because here we have documented evidence that, point of fact, it, it affects... It. Well, we'll actually find out. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to spill the whole report. So... Dr. Abby Goldberg will be with us on Wednesday. Thursday, um, we're going to be talking with uh, Bob Silman, Diane Porcella, about Lookstock. Lookstock, we're, this is the 40th anniversary of Woodstock, and that's going to happen this weekend. And then Lookstock is a transperformance this year over there to Look Park. It's done by the, the Arts Council. Bob Silman puts this on every year with Diane, and they it is an astonishing event featuring every local band that you cherish and, and admire, playing various people, various bands that you know of from the past, in this case. Um, uh, folks who were at Woodstock. Folks who were at Woodstock. And performed at Woodstock. Jazz and I, Kelsey and Monty, will also be hosting those events, uh, along with Hans Tinsma. I'm going to be wavy gravy. i got to knock out this whole row of teeth, though, in order to that but a little bit like so but but <clears throat> the we'll hear from Diane and Bob. Always fun. The last time I think they, well one of the times they came in both they're all tarted up. Bob was in drag. Oh was he? I just thought he was tarted up. But then so more fun on Thursday, Friday. We'll tell you when that comes. We've got plenty of week to let you know what's coming up. Friday's it's you know, it's good. It's so good I can't tell you. You're just gonna have to tune in. So there. 
Okay, so have a great weekend, won't you? Please, please. Because you know what? I will.